Hey guys, so this is my Batwoman review. This is for episode one. I was lucky enough to see it at Comic Con just earlier today. This is actually going out the day after. But yeah, I got to see it. This is going to be my review. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I can't do this review in the same way that I normally do my DC reviews. For all of you who watch my videos regularly, you know, we break down the whole episode, we talk about every single thing, and, you know, it's all spoilers, basically. So I can't do that in this video because they specifically asked, because, you know, it hasn't premiered, it's not premiering till October. This is the first world premiere, but I'm talking about on the CW, so, you know, everyone can watch. So, for now, I'm going to keep the spoilers at a limit because there is a few twists and turns that are really exciting and very intriguing but yeah so first off my main thoughts I really loved this I was really impressed obviously I had expectations going in I really liked her in the crossover for the minimal amount of time she was in I was very impressed I'm not a massive Ruby Rose fan normally and I just felt like she got the right role they picked right and I was very happy with the result especially seeing episode one so it was really good and it sort of acted as an origin of sorts it's prior to her getting the suit that you see in the crossover that's about as spoilery as i'm gonna get and in episode one we get introduced to you know the whole concept for what's to come later in the season we got a rough idea of the big bad i don't know if that villain is going to continue on or it's going to be like a half villain like sort of half season thing so like a half villain thing i think possibly it could go that route but yeah the action was great it was really actually nicely shot i was very impressed i thought you know it wasn't going to be anything too visually intriguing but i was very impressed by it i it definitely exceeded my expectations and the cast was really compelling i think that was a big thing i was very much so you know compelled to the characters to the cast and i can't wait to see what happens next especially with um her girlfriend and her i really really like that i was very very much so you know fully into that plot and i can't wait to see how they actually you know advance that and her becoming batwoman you know you get to see like elements of her training and how she becomes batwoman you know her sort of relation to batman and everything that goes on between those two because you know there is a strong relation although you know Bat batman as it was said in the crossover he hasn't been there for years so yeah it's all sort of building to the revelation of her becoming batwoman so i would say go into this episode when it comes out in october expecting a origin of sorts and so yeah i was very impressed i really liked it and I'm actually going to watch it again on Saturday because they're screening it again at Comic Con. So if any of you guys are at Comic Con, try and go and see it. It's in Ballroom 20. That's where you were earlier today. And so yeah, that's about it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are at Comic Con, please be sure to say hi. If you do see me, I will be, you know, in the press room. I'll be at the Arrowverse panels. I'll be all around trying to go to all these different events if I can get in, obviously. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.